Welcome to today's video um, that deals with probability. We will be answering this question by the end of the video. All probabilities fall between what and what? And you'll see that there's three different ways that we can answer that. So let's think about this example below. What is the greatest percent possible that I will draw a red jelly bean? So we have four different piles of jelly beans and let's take a look at what percent chance I have of drawing red. So that is theoretical probability. All right, so we're gonna write each one as a fraction, then a decimal and a percent. So if I look at this first pile, you can see that there are actually zero reds. There's pink and yellow and green and orange, but there aren't any reds. So if you remember how to write probability, on the top we say how many, how many ways I can get a red or how many reds are there, and that's zero out of 22 total jelly beans. So our probability as a fraction is zero out of 22. We would change that to a decimal, would be zero divided by 22, which of course is just gonna be 0, 0.0 or zero tenths. And then of course that's gonna be 0%. So right here, we can, we can chart that on our number line. So it is possible to have a 0% chance of something happening. Let's look at the second pile. Here we have one red out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jelly beans. To change one seventh to a decimal, we're gonna find the quotient of the numerator and denominator. So one divided by seven, and that rounds to, um, if we round to the hundredths place, 2.14 or 14 hundredths. And then if we multiply that by 100, that comes out to 14%. All right, so 14%, if this is zero and this is 100, halfway would be 50, um, a quarter of the way would be 25. So maybe about here, we don't need to be exact. All right. Um, let's go to the third pile. So here we have one, two, three, four, five that are red out of five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 jelly beans. Five divided by 13 rounds to 38 hundredths, 0.38. Multiply that by 100, that is 38%. Um, so again, if this is 50 and this is 14, we'll say right about here. All right, and last but not least, the highest percent of red we could possibly have is, of course, if they are all red. So let's take a look at this example. Four out of four are red. If I do four divided by four, I'm gonna get 1.0 or one whole. If I multiply that by 100, move my decimal twice, that is 100%. So that would be right here. So the question is, what do all of these answers fall between? you notice that the very smallest a probability can be is 0%. Um, you can't have any less than that. So we could say 0% would be the minimum. And when all of them were red, that was 100%. Could we have any more than 100% being red? No. So all probabilities are gonna lie between zero and 100%. Now, there are other ways to write that, and we'll take a look at that. And again, just remember, percent is a part of one whole, and all probabilities show a part of a whole. In this case, what percent of one whole pile of jelly beans is red? And we have that on our number line. So let's explore a little bit. Why can't probability be more than 100%? 120%, for example, if I said 120% chance of drawing a red, means that I would draw 120 red beans out of 100 total beans. Or I will draw 120 red for every 100 jelly beans I draw, but is that even possible? I can't draw more red than what exists. So that isn't gonna be possible. Um, what I want you to do is take a look at these examples of probability. So for example, um, if I say, what's the probability that it will rain tomorrow? Some of these values would be possible probabilities for it raining and some would not. So I want you to pause and think about where you might uh, put these. So you can just cross it out and write it either in 
the possible probabilities category or the impossible. So go ahead and pause your video and give that a try and then we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, so before I give you the answers for this, let's go back up here. So we know that all the probabilities of drawing red were between 0% and 100%. Let's see if we can write those two values as um, decimals and fractions as well. There are three ways to write part of a whole. That's a percent, a decimal, and a fraction. So how else could I write, let's do decimal first. 0% as a decimal would just be 0, 0.0 or 0, 0.0. And how we write one whole, 100%, which is one whole bag, we would write as 1.0, so one in the ones place. So we could add to this up here that zero, all probabilities lie between 0, 0.0 and 1.0. Nothing can be higher than one whole. So if you had a probability of 1.2, that would also be impossible. All right, let's look at it the last way, and that would be as a fraction. As a fraction, we could say 0%, a way to write that would be 0 out of 1. And as a fraction for one whole, you could say 1 out of 1. If I have 1 whole pi out of 1 whole pi, then I have 1 whole pi. So we could write up here, all probabilities lie between 0 over 1 and 1 over 1. So for example, if we had three halves where the numerator was bigger than the denominator, that would be impossible as well. So things to watch out for. Probabilities cannot be above 100%. Probability cannot be above one whole. And probability cannot, as a fraction, cannot be a mixed number. So like three over one would not be possible. Um, has to be less than one whole. All right, so let's see how you did down here. I'm going to go ahead and drag them. So 20%, that, or I'll just cross it out. Okay. So 20%, that is between 0 and 100%. So that is a possible probability that it will rain tomorrow. 0.4 chance is greater than 0%, less than 100%. So that is a possibility as well. 6 fifths, that would equal 1 and 1 fifth. You can see that's more than one whole. So 6 fifths is not a possible probability. 9 tenths is greater than 0 and less than 1 whole, so that is possible. 1.9, you can see we have more than 1 whole, so that is impossible. 2 ninths is greater than 0 ninths, and it's less than 9 ninths. 9 ninths would equal 1 whole, so that is possible. 125% is greater than 100%, which we know is not possible. So that is going, oops, sorry, that's going to go in the impossible probabilities. Two and a half is clearly more than one whole, so that also is impossible as a probability. Two hundredths is greater than zero and less than 1.0 or one whole, so that is possible. And 202% is greater than 100%, so that is impossible. All right, so that's your lesson on where probabilities lie. So just remember, we can never have a more than a 100% chance of something happening. And then just think about what else is equal to 100%. That would be 1.0 or 1.1. So if, if a probability cannot be higher than 100%, it also cannot be higher than 1.0 or one. And go ahead and plot all of these values on this number line and you should find that all of them fall in this range right here and none of them will land right there. Great job.